Hello guys, in today's video, I will show you, how you can rig a car. So, let's start. This is my car model. You may have multiple body parts but in my case, I got two parts. Engine with wheels and interior of car and the second one is exterior of car. First, parent the body to engine for convenience and to do that select the part you want to parent plus select the part to have parent to and then press ctrl plus P. Now, we need to separate all the wheels from engine. But before doing that we need to make sure that the car is in right direction and you can check it by adding a monkey mesh. The direction of car should be in same direction as of monkey face. Now select body part having wheels and go to edit mode. Select face selection mode. Select any vertices of wheel and press ctrl plus L and then hide that part by pressing ctrl plus H and make sure to hide all parts of a wheel by doing the same process. After hiding all parts of a wheel, simply press Alt plus H to unhide all hidden parts and it will automatically select all vertices of wheel. Now go to mesh then separate by selection or you can simply press P and then click on selection. Now, we have separated one wheel. Repeat the same process for other wheels. Select the engine and set origin to center of mass. Press Shift plus S and set cursor to select it. Now add a empty plane axis and make engine parent to axis. Do the same process for all wheels. Select a wheel, go to edit mode, select some vertices having circular shape and select cursor to select it. Now, go back to object mode and set origin to cursor. Add a empty plane axis and make wheel parent to it. Repeat the same process for all other wheels. Now, change the name of engine and wheel axis as given in the picture. Select a axis and press F2 to rename it. After renaming all axis, select all wheel axis and make them parent to engine axis. In the last, install rig car add-on. Select all the axis and add car armature. From the right side menu, Open Rig Car tab and increase wheels value to 1. That's all. In the next tutorial, I will show you how you can animate car using splines.